So yesterday I got a call from Animal Control <laughs> saying that there had been a complaint against my dog for barking unattended for three hours straight outside. And um, it's just not true. So the date in question, it's actually quite the story. Um, we went out for our walk at like 10.30 in the morning and I think we got back at like 11, 11.30, something like that. And um, we hung out in the basement for a while because we were too hot. He's a long haired dog. <laughs> and um, we went outside around 12.30 again because he was asking to go outside. And um, 12.50ish. There was a surveyor that came by and was doing the trees behind our house and the dog just didn't like it and the guy wasn't coming to play with him and so the dog kept barking. So after a couple minutes and of not being able to calm him down, I took him in the house. <laughs> We're talking like three minutes because his barking gives me a headache and I don't like it. And um, it was about one o'clock-ish at this point. Dog was tired and cranky. Um, he napped until I dragged his ass up to go to the vet clinic to get his nails cut because they're black and I'm just not doing that. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> and then we came home, we went back to the basement for a while, and we went back outside around three o'clock. Okay, so I have documents proof the receipt from the vet that we weren't home that the dog was not home. It's three o'clock we went outside. Um, he went to the gate and was barking at something out front and that lasted maybe a minute. Something really upset him out front. And then he lay down on his bed on the deck here. It's right beside me. And he put his head down. He was tired. He wanted to go inside but I'm not allowed outside without him apparently. Um, and I was planting my tomatoes. And um, I had just finished planting my tomatoes and was getting the hose to water them when this guy approaches from the park. So we back onto that green space. And um, he startled the dog. The dog barked a few times at him. And the guy starts off with, excuse me, I need to talk to you. And then goes off on me about my dog and how it's been barking for four hours straight and the horrible owner, he's called Animal Control and he hopes it gets put down and all this other crap. <laughs> and um, of course during this conversation the dog stops barking and starts whining and then just sits down and doesn't say a thing. And he's accusing me of this dog barking for four hours straight. We haven't even been home. We've been inside for most of the day. I, just, I was going to follow him and see where he lived and see which house. Um, I felt very threatened. He definitely triggered me. I was terrified. I'm still scared for my safety and my dog's safety. Oh, look, he's barking. Hold on. Okay, so there was a dog walking by that he wanted to comply with him, so he did his little huffy bark, which is totally acceptable, and then gave maybe two normal barks, and of course I followed him, and he knows he's not supposed to bark. So, I mean, he only bark bark twice. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, this guy made me feel very threatened, and, like, I'm still scared that he's gonna, like, throw poison in the yard or something and kill my dog, and, um... I was going to follow him home so that I could give the address and call the cops. <laughs> but the guy gets into an SUV, a white SUV, and drives away. So obviously he was driving around the neighborhood looking for a dog that was out to blame. And... <sighs> Who does that? And like, we weren't even home in the time in question. The dog wasn't home in the time in question. But anyways, he did call... Animal control because I got the call yesterday and so I had to explain to them <laughs> my day that I have documented proof that we were not home in the time of question and that this guy 
came to my yard and harassed and threatened us and made me feel unsafe. And then he was driving around looking for a dog because he drives around. <sighs> so now my dog has a black mark on his record for excessive barking, even though it didn't happen. And I did explain to Animal Control that he's less than a year old and we are still working on training. So yes, he barks a couple times when someone walks by, but not excessively, and I go and stop him. And yeah, he was barking at that surveyor and I couldn't calm him down, so we went inside. And it's not like I left him outside for three hours or four hours as the guy complained. Um, my dog is what I would consider fearful reactive. He's getting better, like so much better. He now barks at dogs passing because he wants them to come play with him. <sighs> but <sighs> it used to be that if I wasn't outside, he would just scream because he was terrified. Uh, so I go outside with him partially because I don't want him to bark excessively and partially because it's not safe. <laughs> so dog thefts, especially a cute little dog like that. And um, he did an angry bark one morning about 10 a.m. And I looked out the window to see what he was barking at and there were three coyotes right behind our fence. So it's not safe to leave a dog unattended. Like I've gone on walks and we've seen multiple coyotes on walks. And we're in the city. There's, <laughs> it's not safe because they can clear the fence. It's not safe because he's so little and hawks and eagles, and not eagles, but um, owls and all sorts of birds of prey are in the area. Like, I mean, if one of the crows that's nested in the trees behind our house decides it doesn't like him, he's dead. So there's that. There's also, I've planted my garden. Yeah, I fenced part of it, but the potatoes are in pots. They're not fenced. They're toxic. The peas are available for him to get at because they're just trellis. They're not, you know, I don't have a fence on either side. I just have the trellis. So I want to watch him so that he doesn't get into things he's not supposed to. And while I'm out there, I'm doing yeah. housework. Echo. Did you just bark at something? Someone walking down the path, I'm assuming. But anyways, that is what happened. So now I'm like, do I have to document every time we are outside and like, oh, hey, we went for a walk during this time to this time and this was our route because now that the dog has a black mark on his record and that guy has our address, is he just going to call and complain every time some dog is barking and it's going to get blamed on mine? Like, he's got a long ways to go, but I want him to be my service dog. And is that even a possibility if he has a record? And, uh, I don't know why people have to create drama where there doesn't have to be any. Like, it's also not fair, because I mean, yeah, I'm outside right now without my gas mask. It's, what, 10 a.m. when I'm recording this? And... I'd like to enjoy my yard all day, but I'm not going to be able to because guaranteed someone's going to start their dryer and I'll have to drag the dog inside. And this guy is upset about dogs in the neighborhood barking periodically throughout the day so that he can't enjoy his yard. <sighs> dogs are going to bark. That's just what they do. And you noticed he barked once at the gate, ran to the back and didn't bark again. And apparently he is excessively barking. I don't know. I just, I'm mad. I'm triggered. <laughs> and it's pretty hard to teach your dog that people approaching and walking past in the park aren't threats when some guy comes up and threatens you. So, uh, that's my story. And I don't know, maybe my channel is going to start being like, hey, this is I walk the dog from this time to this time, just so that I have it documented, because I, I, this is bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Probably nothing is the best course of action, but I'm just mad that my dog is being accused of shit that he didn't do, and we weren't even home. And yeah, he barked at this guy's approach. This guy approached success, like, 
very aggressively and the dog had been on the deck with his eyes closed resting when the guy first came like <sighs> and I'm thinking now that maybe some of that barking he did towards the front wasn't just a delivery person that maybe it was that guy casing our house which is you know an appropriate thing to bark at anyways rant over thanks for watching bye